Our isotope is technetium 99m. Its symbol is TM with an atomic number of 43 and an atomic mass of 99. The M in the name stands for metastable. This means it has an excited nucleus. So in order for the nucleus to get to a more stable state, it has to give out excess energy. It is done by emitting the gamma ray. Because of this, technetium 99M is an ideal medical tracer because the gamma radiation it emits allows medical practitioners to image internal body organs causing hardly any radiation damage to the patient. Technetium 99M is a metastable nuclear isomer of technetium 99 and has a half-life of 6 hours. Its main use is as a medical tracer and it's used to detect a variety of medical conditions. This medical isotope used in over 80% of all nuclear medicine scans in Canada, so there is a very high demand for it. The production of technetium 99M begins with the fission of the isotope uranium-235. This produces radioactive molybdenum-99. Molybdenum-99 is further processed and refined and shipped to a distributor who puts the substance into a container called a generator for sale and shipment to hospitals and radio pharmacies. The technetium 99M is derived from the molybdenum 99 generator into a saline solution, which is then injected into or inhaled by the patient before a diagnostic scan. Here, the production of uh, technetium 99M is shown through a chemical equation. Firstly, molybdenum 98 is bombarded by a nucleus, which then produces molybdenum 99. Next, the molybdenum 99M undergoes beta decay, producing technetium 99M and the beta particle. Finally, the technetium 99M undergoes gamma decay, producing technetium 99 and a gamma particle. The social factor of technetium 99M is to do with worldwide and on more local shortages. In Canada, the main producer of technetium 99M is a large commercial reactor in Chalk Creek where 80% of Canada's is made. The world supply of molybdenum 99 and technetium 99M is from five large commercial reactors. So when only one of the large reactors goes out of operation, as there are no complete alternative for all the uses of TC 99M, its effects can be felt around the world. This is the situation when there was an unplanned shutdown of the aging Chalk River nuclear reactor in November 22nd, 2013. It had the country on the verge of a major shortage of medical isotopes, which is arguably one of the most important isotopes you have in general nuclear medicine, as it is used in about 80% of all nuclear medicine procedures that do not involve PET scans. There are some alternative procedures that can be done in both nuclear medicine and radiology to help get around the shortage of technetium. Although it's more costly and more complex, Canada does have some tools in place to help address the shortage of molybdenum 99 and technetium 99M. For example, Health Canada shared clinical guidance with healthcare community on strategies to help maximize the existing supplies of technetium 99M. In addition, there's a regulatory toolkit to help the healthcare community access alternative isotopes. Technetium 99M is produced from the fission of uranium 235, which then turns into molybdenum 99, which is then shipped to hospitals where it decays into technetium 99M. The half life of six hours makes it almost impossible to find in the natural wilderness, so it must be man made in nuclear factories. Since it's man-made in the nuclear factories, there's lots of waste created and energy used. The radioactive waste, if not taken care of properly, can cause massive impacts to the environment, such as we are witnessing now from the nuclear spills in Japan, causing mutation to whales, seals, and many other marine animals. Fortunately, Technetium 99M is a pretty environmentally safe isotope since it does not occur in the natural earth, you don't have big companies tearing up the Earth's crust, but like almost everything nowadays, it produces waste when it's made. That does affect the environment. In conclusion, Technetium 99M is a very important medical isotope using the majority of all medical scans to detect a variety of health conditions. It is produced through the fission of uranium-235, 
which then is processed into molybdenum 99 which finally decays into technetium 99m as we have learned there are limited producers of technetium 99m so there are often concerns of shortages worldwide as well Although technetium 99M doesn't have a large environmental impact itself as an isotope, it, the production of it does produce amounts of nuclear waste which are harmful to the environment.